Hey fam, welcome back to another video. It is your girl, Autism Mom, and I am back with another video. So I really want to touch on being a single mom and being able to really talk about what we go through because I feel like as single moms, you you hear it a lot, but you don't really get to see or hear our stories or our side of what it looks like being a single parent. Now, I'm not saying that there are not single dads out there because we clearly know that there are. It's just, it's more common to see single moms out there and it's sad and unfortunate and I will definitely tell you when I got married and had my kids I never in a million years ever seen myself as being a single parent like I never seen me getting married just to get a divorce and become a single mom especially becoming a single mom to a special needs child um, on top of that which is extremely hard and challenging when you don't have that support of the other parent but like I said, I just really feel like as single moms don't really get to tell our story because I feel like a lot of us are either scared or, um, you know, because I've seen people where they sit up there and they basically blame us for being single moms. Now, I have seen people who actually became single moms by choice. They wanted to be single moms. They didn't want to, you know, have a partner. They wanted to be a single mom. And that is their preference to each his own. I don't judge nobody for any choices that they make, right? Um, as long as it's not hurting nobody else or themselves, they, you, people do what they want to do. And I just think that it sucks that those of us who did not plan, nor did we ever want to be single parents, um, you know, we ended up being that. And it's and I say that in a sense of the other parent still being capable of being in the child's life, but they're either choosing not to or, you know, they pick and choose when they do. I don't know. But everybody's situation is different. And it just, my story is just, you know, that was not my choice. That was not what I wanted for me and my kids. I definitely seen me being able to break, you know, generational curses. Um, just not just in my family, um, but, you know, just in general. Like, I don't, I didn't want my kids, break, you know, growing up in a one-parent household or even a broken home for that matter. And it really sucked when I ended up having to become a single parent and not having that support anymore. Um, it's it's definitely something that hits different, um, especially when the the break in my situation when the breakup happened the way that it did, um, and then kids are caught in the middle of all the the drama and you know all that good stuff. But like I said, one of the biggest reasons why I did start doing my content and start talking about being a single mom and a single mom of an special needs child is because like I said I feel like this stuff is not talked about enough and enough awareness is not raised about this and I feel like a lot of us single moms do not have that support that we really really need um, like I said especially moms with kids with special needs which is why I like to touch on both sides of it being a single mom being a mom with a child with autism and you know just that's my life and um, it sucks, but this is the hand that I've been dealt. And like I said before, I am doing the best that I possibly can with this hand that I've been dealt. And I know that things are going to get better because things have been getting better. And I know that one day I will meet somebody that will love me and my kids, you know, the way that we deserve to be loved and treat us the way that we deserve to be treated. But, and I'm okay if that never happens. I'm okay if it's just me and my kids for the rest of our lives like I'm not um I'm not here for like you know to that's why I've been single for three years because I want to heal I want to learn how to love myself I want my kids to know that it's okay to you know be alone if you if you never find the right person or if you end up being alone one day it is a okay you just take that time to heal love on yourself and you know just be okay and so that is what I'm learning through my healing journey, through being a single mom, through being a mom of a special needs child, is that I am okay with being alone and just focusing on me and my kids. And I, to be honest, I love that I'm able to give my kids as much of me as I have been able to. You know, I've still been blessed to be able to stay home with them and love upon them and, 
you know, um, give them my undivided attention. And that's what I'm focused on right now. I'm focused on healing, moving on, and loving on my kids and just being the best mom that I could possibly be. And I really hope that my content is helping other parents out there, helping special needs parents, and just anybody in general. I really hope that I can be an encouragement to you and know that no matter what life throws at you, you will be okay. It's gonna be hard. That's part of life. It's not always gonna be easy. It's a part of life. It's how you go about it and how you manage. But I hope this encourages somebody else. Until next time, guys, bye.